Good afternoon. I'm speaking today on the territory of the signatories of Treaty 7, and I acknowledge the Métis people who share a deep connection to this land. On Monday, I was in Red Deer to share the appalling news that healthcare workers in the hospital there had been so desperate for assessment space in the emergency department that they hung tarps and duct tape to create makeshift assessment spaces. But today, we know that duct tape medicine is not confined to a single hospital in a single city. Yesterday, a patient here in Calgary reached out to me and shared images of their hospital bed at the Foothills Medical Center. The space that this Albertan is getting their health care in was divided by plastic sheeting attached with duct tape. Duct tape medicine is happening right now in our largest hospital right here in Calgary. It breaks my heart to see our public health care system has come to this under the UCP. Duct tape medicine, however, is only a symbol of how the health care we all rely on has been understaffed. Our people need our hospitals and our emergency departments have not been used. We also learned this week that the UCP is demanding steep cuts in nursing staff levels and limits to over. While we have limited space and limited staff, this UCP government is going to limit the staff even further instead of focusing on prevention. This is grossly irresponsible and dangerous. Thanks to the UCP, we have a disastrous shortage of health care workers right across the province. We are not competitive with other provinces. There are 29 communities in Alberta today where the hospital is partially closed due to staff shortages. Limiting overtime will mean many of these will stay closed. Major hospitals in major cities don't have the staff to safely even use the floor space they already have. Limiting overtime means shifts will more often have fewer nurses than is safe to care for the number of patients who are already there at the beginning of their shift. This creates burnout, safety issues, and moral injury where the staff cannot provide the care they know is needed. And while this crisis deepens, Danielle Smith and Adriana LaGrange want to make it worse with a reorganization that they dreamed up, a system that has not even been implemented or evaluated elsewhere. While they're obsessed with changing organizational charts and signage, Albertans are getting health care under tarps held up with duct tape. The UCP plan is to literally have more managers and fewer nurses. So we need to hear from Adriana LaGrange today. She must drop her unconscionable demands to cut nursing levels. She must produce a real plan to end duct tape medicine everywhere in Alberta. She and the Premier must enthusiastically encourage Albertans to immunize themselves and their families against influenza and COVID-19. And they must acknowledge the appalling conditions that they are responsible for. Danielle Smith promised 15 months ago to end the UCP crisis in healthcare. It's obvious today that she's made things far worse. We need stability in healthcare and we need direct investment in frontline care. We need it now. 
and thank you. I would like to take any of your questions. Great, thank you, Dr. Metz. Just a reminder for those joining us on the phone to use the star nine function, and for those joining us on Zoom to use the raise hand function to get into the question queue. First, we'll start with questions in person. Tyson Perot with CTE. Uh, I just going to first, first off get your reaction, reaction to uh, uh, some of the reporting done on the Global Mail and the RCC report we've talked about in regards to that Turkish Tylenol uh, having impacts on, on young children. I guess, first of all, uh, what's, 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 I guess, your reaction to that revelation? Well, I'm not surprised. We've known for a long time that children in the, that are sick need a small volume of medicine because you're encouraging them to just take this little sip of medicine. Um, instead, the Turkish Tylenol requires them to take a very large volume, which first is hard to encourage them, and second, they often throw up. So we've known for a long time that this was not a preferred treatment. Um, the idea that now we know that it's actually thicker and clogging tubes to feed very vulnerable young babies um, is outrageous. And this is what happens when you, you end up with unintended consequences when you do things that are not rational and not planned. And just to follow up in regards to uh, a video circulating on uh, social media this uh, morning from uh, Kathleen Ganley, uh, a colleague of yours, uh, definitely has all the hallmarkings of a potential leadership race uh, within your party. Uh, is the NDP uh, and yourself uh, looking to the future now, uh, potentially without uh, Rachel Notley as leader? Well, we're always looking to the future, um, but um, Rachel Notley is our leader and has been a great leader, and we know that she has stated publicly that she is considering whether she will continue or not. Um, the things that are in Kathleen Ganley's video are the things that we all stand for. Um, and so I think she's reiterating that. This is the beginning of a new year. All right, we'll now go to the phones. Just a reminder for those on the phones to use star nine and for those on Zoom to use the raise hand function to get into the question queue. And with no questions on the line, we'll wrap today. Thanks, folks. Thank you very much.